Hi guys, this is Abdul Ghafoor and you are watching TLS Pedagogy. As everybody is rushing for the pedagogy license, so this video is very important or going to be very important. Now first, I'm going to discuss uh, another mock uh, question and uh, this question is related with the international uh, assessments just like a TIMS, PISA and uh, other uh, international test okay that how this question is related and they can uh, ask you without using these terms just like a pizza tims and all these things okay so please uh, stay uh, connected with me and do share with them but above all uh, there are the many teachers they are sending me messages and that how can we prepare about the exam if we have a last chance or we have uh, no chance okay of it Please don't worry. Uh, I can prepare you within a 10 days. I can prepare you within 15 days. I can prepare you within a 20 days. I can prepare you within a one month. So please, I'm sharing you my contact detail. Don't worry about that, okay? For cycle one, cycle two, cycle three, doesn't matter, okay? My contact details has been given. Just look at WhatsApp me or email me. So everything, all the resources are available, streamlined. Uh, PowerPoints are there, practice tests, as much as practice tests you want, you know. So I'll make you more proficient to appear in the test and just get your desired result. So far, Alhamdulillah, we have complete 100% success uh, rate for that. Please do share this video with the others, you know, they might need help or they might, this video might change uh, someone's life. Okay. So let's discuss about, you know, the question, uh, which uh so today i'm going to discuss uh this question uh as you can see over here uh this question says about that you administered the same test with the same group of students a second time two weeks after the first administration when calculating the correlation coefficient for students score in the two administrations it was 0.85 such test can best be described as okay this is you know one of them so keywords are as you can see the administered this part administered are the keyword this administered is a broad concept that means you are monitoring observing based on fear enough and second think that uh, they are going to repeat that test after two weeks and the third thing who you know is the examinee part of this test same group of level as you know that the, this is talking about the international test right like a tims pizza pearls as you know these all are uh, you know the assess these student assessed at the same level same age group okay we'll discuss in the upcoming slides okay now we have to a score of 0 0.85 and the second which is the most important maybe you are not what they are going to calculate correlation coefficient now correlation coefficient that means that each test has a uh, different variables now what are these variables let's talk about first and then we'll go to answer you can see here relationship between different variables as you can see, the PISA has a reading, mathematics, and science. TIMS has a mathematics and science, grade 8, 4, and 8. These are the variables. As you can see, PISA at the age of 15 years old. However, in IELTS, like a listening, reading, writing, and speaking, these are the variables. And uh, in PEARLS, reading abilities, now we have a creative. Uh, also, you know that the uh, component that has been added you have seen in my previous video So these all are the variables to measure the score and correlation of the coefficient in the same test now Looking at the options, okay, that which option is correct. So we'll go in the sequence will not just stick the uh, correct answer always be in the sequence number one the best option easy now here as you can see that the score is showing 0.85 however these standardized tests okay we say have a specific benchmark has been set for these you know so we cannot say that the test is easy 
if it is a test easy the definitely the score must be high at least in a second attempt when they are conducting you know the twicely the score should be high that we consider the uh, test is easy number one so option easy is wrong reliable so reliable makes sense that because you know in both test the score is the same so that's why we can say the test is reliable let's talk about the comprehensive because we'll be going to the all options comprehend now comprehensive that means that is showing the range of you know assessment that means that covers the uh, various topics all topics broader concept of the test so here is it test question is about the score it's not question is about the type of the test so comprehensive is completely wrong however objective as we know that the objective that means they have one uh, you know the right answer and this is talking about the what we do convergent thinking this is talk comprehensive is talking about the divergent thinking as well as you know so these two options are are wrong as well as the easy as you can see in this question there is a no detected so the complexity level is a very low of this question so the answer of this question is reliable let's see what is reliability and uh, there is a complete video of the reliability you can see i'm just sharing the link of the reliability reliability means there is a several meaning but this is the most appropriate test retest when you are conducting the same test with the same group of the level if the score is the same that means test is reliable i'm sure this video is going to help you a lot please do share with others and uh if you have any query or something my contact number has been given please feel free for anything thank you so much